Hey everyone, I'm Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com. Today we're with a friend of mine, Glenn from RC Plane Stands. What's happening, Glenn? Hello, how are you? So the goal today is we're going to take a look at one of the products Glenn makes. Glenn, where are you based out of? Irvine, California. Irvine, California. All of these things are made right here in the States. They're Glenn's Designs. He saw a need, and he has been refining. How long have you been uh, selling your stance? Uh, coming up like three years. And so when he first started, we did a full interview, which I will find and link to at the end of this, so you can go learn everything about Glenn. But today we're here to talk about one thing, and that is the bench top stand. And what we'll do is jump over to his website, we're going to navigate over to the bench top stands themselves. There's a couple of options, one with a tray and one without. We're going to go to the bench top without a tray. This is the bench top stand without a tray. And what we think uh, you might need as someone who's looking at such a thing is to know how to put it together and all the different uses of the bench top. And that is what we're going to do today. I'm going to switch over to Glenn and let him start talking to you. Okay, so this is the bench top without the tray. It does come with uh, three different heights. Um, some of the guys have a taller bench top to work on, so this can get a little high to be working on. So this is the tall standard one that I normally sell. This is the medium, and then this is the low profile one. And the low profile one, a lot of guys use it to um, stick it in the back of their pickup and, you know, their Tonto top still covers it to where they can have their plane sitting on the stand in the back of the pickup. But today we're going to do a medium stand with um, 24 inch rails. So I you also can get, have, yeah. Right. You have different size rails. Do you order those up front? Does it come with the different rails? How does that work? Well, the sides, no extra charge for whatever size you want. But the rails, because of the shipping cost difference, because of the long boxes I have to use on the longer ones, um, they go up about $10 every six inch. So the 24 inch rails are the standard, but I also have rails up to uh, four feet. So, and they have notches in them. So you can get a little bit of flexibility on that. Um, I have 30 and 36 inch too. So whatever uh, size plane you're doing is what you can um, order on that. And those do cost different, like I said. So first thing you want to do, you put, um, see these just kind of slide in and lock, interlock. And then we're going to take an arm. And these arms can go on this way, so you can get it way out here for this wide. But and then when they collapse in, you can get them down to this wet. On my little uh, plane that we're going to um, demo here, I am going to flip these arms around and go this way on the back end. Because oh, okay. the back of my fuselage is pretty narrow. And so you want to put the nuts in or the bolts in, they're carriage bolts. So they kind of uh, interlock into the square slot there. Put that on. You're going to put a washer in the front. And then with the carriage bolts, you don't have to hold the bolt when you tighten it. So we'll put that around here. And then this one, we'll flip that around. Put the carriage bolt in. But this does give you, like, if you're doing gliders, you can put it down to nothing. Uh, right. You need to. So it does give you a lot of flexibility in that realm. So we'll put that washer on out here. These things would even be great as haulers. You could put them in the back of your truck bed and it would uh, stabilize your planes while you're yeah. headed to the field. Yeah, and what's uh, unique about these stands that I kind of made up was that 
fact that they nothing your fuselage doesn't touch the wood ever. I give you a roll of one wrap. It's um, I give you six feet of it. So what you want to do is about 60 40 split because your fuselage is usually a lot thinner in the back oh. than in the front. Got it. So what I do is uh, say about 40% on this. And then what I do is roll up the end here and just hang it on. So if I'm using a different plane later, I have the Extra. width to go wide, a lot wider. Right. And then this, this is the other one I've already made up for this side. And this side I went out the other way. So we're going to put that on there. And that's it. Now, two, and then here's your other Velcro strap. So if you see in here, when you put your fuselage in there, nothing touches the wood. It kind of just hangs there. And when you pick this up, the tolerances are pretty tight in here, but they're not perfect. You, this will fall out if you lift it. Um, I just had, with the tight tolerances, I just had too much issues with it in different uh, environments. So All right. if you just kind of squeeze it together when you pick it up, you know, squeeze it in, the rails stay on fine. So I'll show you how to adjust this thing with um, my new little Hangar 9 uh, P47 button fly here. So if you, if you notice in the back here, it fits right in pretty well. And I usually like to um, give it about just like a half inch or an inch in between so that it doesn't rattle around too much. Right. And then uh, we can, you know, like I said, you got to hold this when you turn it. And then the front end here, if you can see that, it's pretty sloshy. So if we tighten these up right here, right here, get those in a lot tighter. And we'll pick that up. So nothing touches the wood and your fuselage just kind of hangs there. And you can do what you, you need to do. Right. And so the tighter you get this, the less sway and then swing it'll get. But when I was doing it with the PVC and the different wood ones that I tried, when I start opening this up and working in the plane, I end up cracking stringers and stuff under here on the fuselage. Sure. You know? And even on the foamies, you dent it and stuff. So with this kind of model that um, supports it completely, you, you don't have that kind of issue. It's a lot better. So got it. That's how that works. And it so anyway, so take that out and you can just store it real easy. And in the next videos we'll show, I also have a tray that goes under it for a bench top with a tray. And then these, same exact thing, but these fit in the tray exactly. And so when you're working on your plane, you have a big tray underneath it to throw your batteries and your junk in. Your screws That's and all that. Right. So let's say that uh, you wanted to own that short piece of wood, but you also wanted to own the really long piece of wood. Can you order that separately? Yes. Then you yes. could have all the variances yeah, that you, you can, need. I can sell anything separately. And also a lot of guys will buy the shorty separately right. because when they go into their truck, they want it to be underneath their cover of their truck. Right. So this one, and then also a lot of the boat guys are actually, that's who started the shorty is the boat guys never uh -huh. flip it over or have a, a rudder hitting the table when they flip it over. Right. right. So, those guys just wanted a lower one to work on their boats and submarines. So that's how that right. came about. So we're going to jump back over to the website. And once again, 
You can go to products, bench tops, and it's the first selection right there. There's your 24 inch, 30 and 36 inch rails, standard, medium and low profile options and photos of everything. And that will show you what you need, how to order. And uh, tell us about shipping. How long does it take usually to get something out once they hit the pay button? I usually have all this stuff in stock. And so I will um, ship out that same day or next day, depending on what time you order. And it usually it goes UPS ground. It's free shipping. And it usually gets there, you know, anywhere like, in California, it'll get there the next day, but otherwise, it's usually three or four days to Florida and stuff like that. And what kind of wood are we using to build these stands? It's all Baltic birch. So it's very stable. It's gone through the roof with the war in Ukraine and uh, Russia because oh. that's the area it comes from as right. far as the of pricing of it. It's just been ridiculous, but um, it is the most stable and best thing. There's no voids in it. It's uh, the half inch is nine layers. So it's what the cabinet makers and, you know, quality furniture use underneath because it's so stable and flat and nice. And I just couldn't, even when the prices were going through the roof, I just couldn't go to regular plywood and do it. It just wouldn't look the same. Right. There's a lot of end grain on these, you know, and everything's rounded over and sanded. So it's all real nice and smooth and clean. It looks a lot better in person than it does on my site. But Gotcha. So we have more of these episodes coming up. Uh, there's all kinds of stands to talk about and all kinds of uh, yeah. build and variations and uh, things you can do with it. Before we get out of here on this first one, is there anything left that you need to tell everyone about this uh bench stand bench top stand um it's a real good seller i sell a ton of them and everybody loves them so i don't know other than that um i guess that's about it you know the the floor models are a little more versatile because they you know stand up with you you don't need your bench at the field and stuff like that right. so showing that one next time and it's got a lot more adjustments because of all the height and everything else that it can do but for a bench top you know especially if you've been using the pvc ones i can't tell you how many pvc um, configurations i used to build because every single plane seemed like it took a different one because it wasn't adjustable so right. this is one size fits all kind of thing good stuff all right, everyone, hit the subscribe button and uh, make sure you're around to see the future videos that we do. And I want to thank Glenn. You can check him out at rcplanestands, all one word, dot com, and go check out all the stuff there. There'll also be a feature article on this uh, particular plane stand on RC Groups with this video you can check out. So all kinds of information. Glenn, thanks so much for taking time to talk to us. Thank you, Jim. All right, everyone, I'm Jim T. Graham with RC Groups. Thank you guys for watching the video. We'll talk to you later.